Hi, my name is Jordan Winger. I'm a Senior Applications Engineer here at Hawkridge Systems, and today I'd like to discuss layout-based part design. And what I mean by that is using a single 2D sketch to control the overall size and shape information of your part model. So in this example, I have a simple bicycle frame where I've created a 2D sketch to control the overall size and shape information. So I have things like the top tube length, the bottom bracket height, chainstay length, seat angle, head angle, and even the diameter of the wheel I want to place onto this frame design. Now once you've created a layout sketch like this, you can use that sketch to control all the additional reference geometry and any additional sketches you might need to create can be based on that as well. So I've created other planes, axes, and other 2D sketches that all reference that layout sketch. So when I make a change to the layout, all my geometry should update accordingly. Another great thing you do with layout sketches, or any sketch for that matter, is it include blocks. In this case, I want to show some other components that are going to connect to the frame later on, but I don't want to have to model them in 3D. I'm just going to create some simple 2D geometry to represent those things. So I have uh, some crank arms and a sprocket that I want to put on the front of the bike for the drivetrain. I also want to represent the rear wheel hub and some of the spokes here as well. So I'll make the hub. I'll include some spokes. After you've created this simple geometry, instead of spending time constraining it all and dimensioning it all, what I can do is simply highlight the geometry I want and create a block from those entities. I'll do the same for the rear wheel. Make a block. After I've done that, it creates all those entities into one single entity that I can move around independently. I can even constrain those to my existing model geometry. Now that I've done that, I can take advantage of another tool in SOLIDWORKS called the belt or chain. I can apply that to the sprocket and the hub in the rear so I can find out exactly what chain length I'll need to control this frame. In fact, you can even take a look at the motion now. Now those items are connected. I can look at the motion between those blocks. Now the great thing about blocks is that they can also be saved out as separate files for reuse in any other design you want to check them with. In this case, I actually have another block that I want to bring in here. So I'm going to insert a block of a seat that I want to place onto this bicycle frame. So I'll bring in the block that I want to use. This way I can check to make sure that the seat won't interfere with any of my frame geometry or any of the other reference parts here when it's at its lowest position. We can see we have enough clearance there that it doesn't touch the tire. You can also take blocks and create 3D geometry from them. Create a new sketch here. Take the block that I've just inserted. And with that block, I can make some 3D geometry if I want to. Now because everything is in a single layout sketch, I have one central location to come to to make any changes or modifications I might need. For example, if I wanted to change that seat angle and check again to make sure that I have no interference with my tire, I can see those details right away. And being that this is a 2D sketch, I also have the advantage of leveraging instant 3D technology so I can see all of my changes happen in real time. So in today's video we covered layout based part design. For more useful videos like this, subscribe to the Hawkridge Systems channel. Thanks for watching.